Hello there, Alder here. Today I'm going to play Cthulhu Saves the World. Now I'm actually a huge HP Lovecraft fan and as I understand it this game is pretty... stays pretty close to the book so I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, let's uh, let's get right into it. Uh, let's go ahead and out of all these options let's go with new game because I I think that's the way that you get to the game. Uh, normal. For intrepid adventure is not too hard, not too easy. For the frail in body and mind, monsters are weaker, MP recover is increased. For the one who walked into the darkness and returned, monsters are more powerful, MP recover is reduced. You would have to be insane to choose this difficulty and bonus mode. Uh, let's go with Domo. I actually did play this game a little bit for the simple reason of not playing at all in my last game and coming across a lot of things that I had no idea about. So I thought it might be best if I did a little bit of reconnaissance. But not very much. I haven't played very much, so you'll be playing with me. Uh, let's get the commentary off. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Rulie. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive a mere mortal insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu. As Cthulhu emerges from the bay, the world seems doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? A brave, mysterious stranger has appeared from high atop yonder cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horror. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Ah, after waiting all this time to have been to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I guess I must get my power back. But how? Luckily for the world. Cthulhu. Actually, I shouldn't do that voice. That voice is very close to the Cthulhu voice. Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse, to regain his power. In order to break the curse and regain his power, he would have to do the unthinkable. That is a poorly written uh, paragraph. <laughs> he would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. <laughs> Foolish narrator. While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now, I too know the way to regain my power. It's gonna fuck up my voice. Whoops. I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero. But only so I can regain my powers, summon Rulier to the service, and destroy the world, of course. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. The great Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lowly player who dares control me, I will allow you to continue with your feeble tips. Hold the left shift key while moving to run really fast. <laughs> Foolish game developer. By giving me the ability to run, I'll finish this silly game in half the time. I'll be able to sell it back to the game store before the trade-in value drops. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. 
Press the tab key to bring up your menu. From here, you can chat with members of your party, check on your stats, start a fight, change your equipment, save your game, or teleport back to the cities you visited. I can save it at any time. What is this? A first-person shooter? Oh, snap. Use, a, use abilities like Insanity Slash in combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out! A few enemies become more dangerous when insane. There will be no watching out. I shall bestow the gift of insanity upon all! And I shall. Build up your combo count with hits, then unleash powerful combo finishers. Ability like death blow for massive damage. Are you done yet? If it's all right with you, I'd actually like to play this game sometime this year. Good luck. Cosmic monstrosities don't need luck. We forge our own destiny, no matter what the cost to humanity. It's true. Right, uh, hold on a second. All right, and I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. Oh, no, how do I... Oh, there we go. Okay. You can auto-run by... You can auto-run by doing caps lock. Ah, a helpless maiden beset by vicious monsters. I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many heroic deeds before you've even remotely come close to being considered a true hero. Ah, fuck out it. Then I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. I'm actually going to try and, like, when it comes with words like that, I'm going to try and say them correctly, so Fataka is, I think, closer than Fatagan. Let's murder some thingies! Goose, round one begin. Alright, um, so like I said, I actually played this a little bit, um, for, I'm guessing most of the time, I'm probably going to just skip over a lot of the battles, because it'll just, you know, eat up time. Yay! Cthulhu's now level 4, yay! Oh, this is actually something that I really love, that it gives you the option to level up one way or the other. It gives you the um, it gives you the illusion that you're controlling how your character levels I mean you kind of are but not really die foul slime monster as Cthulhu defeats the final slime monster he turned his gaze to the maiden that he had rescued gosh just what when Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, she saw this. Sex Thulu. Warning image displayed may not reflect reality. Yeah, no, that's Sex Thulu. He's sexy. My hero. Hero indeed. Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. Fatah! <laughs> Uh, at this rate, I shall never become a true hero and reign my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, pray for. Actually, I can't. Oh, pray for you, who has saved me from the gooey death. Let me join you on your noble quest. You do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with creatures of the sea and call them my friends. Pass. Oh, and I have this trident which I use to stab things. That that's more like it. And above all, I only promise you my wholehearted love and devotion. You great big green hunk of handsomeness. Oh. Yes, the great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. Yay. Does that mean we're dating now? No. We're in a strictly rock star, groovy relationship. For now. <laughs> Umi has joined your party. Now that you have a second party member, you can use the chat command. You can also use multi-character unit techniques in battle. 
gain more allies to unlock more unite abilities. Random encounters are are now active in this dungeon. After 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you would like to fight beyond that, press the tab key to bring up the main menu. Select fight on the left. Alright, let's let's run around and look for things and try to kill them with our weapons. Actually, really quick. Let's see what they're talking about. Is that a living starfish in your hair? Yes. Her name is Penta. Isn't she cute? Ah, uh, because of the pentagram. That's... I like it. A living starfish in your hair? And people think I'm disgusting. Get a dick, too. The town of Miskatonia is just past this series of caves. I'm sure there are some rogue deeds you could do there. To Miskatonia. You know, that's a good place. Oh my god, you're fugly. Look at the- oh my god, they're so fugly. I love it. Monsters are strength. Okay, uh, let's make the seahorse insane. And let's just have her... Let's have her do Siren's Call. Oh god. Oh, they're faster than me. I don't like it. Oh! Oh jeez, they don't look very happy when they're insane. Oh, attack. And... Oh! Jeez, they have lots of damage. Okay, I'm gonna need to heal. Yeah, you attack. You. Save Cthulhu! Save Cthulhu! Save your Dark Lord! There you go, good human. Oh, jeez. Okay, and now heal. Heal yourself! I mean, these guys are a little bit stronger than I anticipated they would be. Okay, uh, no, let's go with. Let's go with them, and again, heal. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, it's so powerful. Alright, there we go. Hooray! Umi is now level 5. My god, they gained that much good I love it. Uh, passive ability, less likely to attack my enemies. And insane, Aggie. Uh, each insane enemy gives... Oh! I approve. Let's do that. Into the Cave of Wonders. Ooh. MP restore, save the game. Sure. Let's go. Alright. Alright. Into the Cave Most of this I'll probably skip forward or, like, do a speed up. Unless something interesting happens. These are probably just- OH MY GOD! That rat is so butt! <laughs> that rat is literally butt. <laughs> it is not the best. Okay. Insane on the giant rat. Uh, let's go with... The blood. Oh, that rat was so butt. Okay, uh, let's attack the crab. You need to heal yourself again. Oh no, come on. Okay. Insane strike on the seahorse. Let's take the crab. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh! And they got a buttload of health for winning. Hooray! Okay. Into the caves. So yes, all this I'll probably just speed up. Oh my god, they're so adorable! Oh, I don't even want to kill them, but I'm going to. Oh! Oh my god, they just start blacking me into space! Why do I have to murder them? Oh, of course, Nailies. Oh well. I mean, I'm going to eventually murder the entire world. I guess I can't feel too terrible. You know, um... I have to say, though, this is pretty accurate to the books thus far. I mean, even to the fact of Cthulhu becoming friends with a uh, simple human name, Umi. It's, it's pretty... it's pretty close to what's actually in the books. If you haven't read the books, if you had... <laughs> I'm sorry. It, oh. 
I feel bad just saying, to be honest. Maybe that should be my Cthulhu voice. Destroy the world! Here you bitch! <laughs> I don't know why I hate Lily so much. I hate Lily right now. Maybe because she's a healer and I have a weird hatred for healers. Into the void. I have to say, at least the music. I, uh. Yeah, the music is at least really cool in this game. Oh, oh, there's a treasure chest. I need it. I need it. I require the loots. Ah, damn it. Damn you, rat beast. Alright, let, let's actually. Instead of this voice for Cthulhu. Yeah, I'm just going to do this voice. This voice looks better. Giant rats! Oh my god, they're so boss. Why? Why so ugly? Yes! Oh, I am murdering things in this cave. I am just devoted to murdering them. Did I get? I got things. That's right. Okay, I got things, and I need to equip them. I actually have to wonder, just because um, Cthulhu is, of course, a large sea-dwelling monster, if he, you know, will ever get dried out and... Ah, damn it, I didn't even read that. What's that on the horizon? I'm Ilona. On behalf of the Earth, we will right wrongs and triumph over evil. That means you. Switchblade's the name. I'm here to steal from the wicked and give to the just. Oh crap, I should have used that voice for him. Screw it. I'm Dash the Daring. My courage is only rivaled by my good looks and my hideous voice. Oh god, oh god. We three are the heroes of good justice, dark fiend Cthulhu. We will defeat you and restore light to the world. You're a dark fiend? You should have told me. So sexy. I see you. I see you've used your vile magic to ensnare that beautiful maiden. Really, her. Please. If I was using my magic to ensnare someone, I would have picked someone much harder. Hey. Yo, Naruto. Narrator. God, I can't. Hookers on phonics did not work at Fenmead. Do I get hero points for defeating annoying heroes? No. Well, I'm going to beat them up anyways. In fact, you always triumphs over evil. We're sure to win. Your friend over there doesn't look too virtuous, hiding behind that cloak and all. I have a skin condition. Leave me alone. Haha, <laughs> puny humans. Even with my powers locked away, I have more than enough power to deal with you. Prepare to be defeated. Commence epic battle! They approach. Round one begins. Full strength. Alright, let's, like, straight up just make them insane. A very susceptible to peer pressure. He's having trouble adjusting to 16-bit. Eh. Keeps his daggers in his boots. That sounds dangerous. Alright, the clerk! Let's siren call the hero.
Oh, that worked! Oh my god, sweet. Okay. Destroy him! Destroy him! Yay! Yay! Cthulhu saves the planet from dumb heroes. Yay! Let's see. Fireball attacks one enemy, power, a lot of damage. Or flame strike targets one enemy. I'm gonna go with that. That's badass. Cthulhu one, Lady Rose, nothing. I hope they're okay. They're adventurers. I wouldn't worry about it. They've probably already respawned at the nearest church. I wonder if we'll ever meet them again. Probably. Enough contemplation. Onwards to heroism. Uh, if this was... If this was, um... Oh, the, the great game of happiness that, uh... Call of Cthulhu, the tabletop RPG. No, they'd be dead. They, they'd be... They'd be... They'd just be gone. Cthulhu eats 1d6 investigators per turn. Just... Like goddamn popcorn. Oh my god, the dolphin! Alright, let's try out. Flame Strike. Her idea of playful involves harpoons and pain. Sounds sexy. Right, let's go with Flood. I doubt Flood is going to do much to these bastards. But... Oh yeah, it did almost nothing. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do that. And let's actually, I have an idea. Let's blind the sea horses. You blind fools! You cannot attack, but you cannot see. I like that I pretty much go back up to full health each time, even though I don't... I don't go back up to full MP each time, but that's whatever. Yes. Yes! Lots of gold. Cannot be stopped. I've learned to murder the dolphins first. Look out, PETA. I don't know if PETA cares about see that I but tend not to think about them at all. Ever. I feel better for my health. Actually, go ahead and uh, I guess stop the video when I get to Miss Catonia. Miss Catonia! I actually, uh, to be completely honest, I don't ever normally play these kinds of games, JRPGs, just because I don't like the combat system. Uh, I just could never get behind it, but I think with the added greatness that it is uh, Cthulhu, it has my vote. Uh, so far the game has been very fun, if nothing else. It's very, uh, other than that, it's your standard everyday JRPG. My god, everything just wants to murder you, Rumi. You know, for being friends with all of these sea creatures, they hate the crap out of you, dude. For real sees. Oh my god, your MP is so low now. Uh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made.
Oh, oh god, why? Why my frame rates got so low? Oh god! That was very... Oh god! You can really notice frame rate difference when it comes to low 16-bit games. Oh, oh no, computer! Computer can't handle it! Oh god! Oh god! Oh. Ooh. He ugly. You cheat that one. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. You ugly. Alright, let's kill ugly first. Oh my. Did I? I think I saw his. Okay, you know what? Let's siren call him too. Mawfish. Happy mouth. Fish didn't have quite the same thing to it. Yeah, no, Happy Mouthfish just doesn't sound right. Oh, let's make him insane. Oh, why? Oh, why are you so bad? Okay, um, I think I know why. So I will actually finish up this this combat and end this video here because I know exactly why my frame rates are so bad. Oh. Hello everyone, at this point my everything crashed. Well, I mean I saved. I was able to save but uh, my everything broke. <laughs> I wasn't able to um, capture any of it really. So I guess I'll just say my outro here. If you liked the video, please click the like button. If you really liked the video, except for the sad parts, please subscribe to my channel. I would definitely appreciate it, and I try and put out at least one video every day. And if nothing else, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!